So I believe we're just about to go do the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Let me make sure this is plus five. Okay, good. Tree Sentinel it is. Then we got Langdell, obviously. Let's see how far we can get today. I don't think the Tree Sentinel will be too bad, but I don't know how much of this Astro of War I'll be able to use. I think it'll be pretty tough. The Tree Sentinel's quick and hits very hard. How much figure do I have? 30, okay. That's good. I also should have checked to see what Inquisitor Giza actually wears. Because I could use that armor. Although if I do that, I probably won't power sense these things. Tree Sentinels are pretty bleed resistant, I think. Like, you can bleed them, but it takes forever to actually do it. Ah, stamina. Wait, am I one-handing? Why am I one-handing? What's that happen? Damn it, stop. Oh, nice. All right, let's level up. What do we level? Vigor, probably. And strength. Ah, we can do some endurance. Beautiful Handel. Very sunny. I really should get some tankier armor, though. And then I can just sit and wheel things to death. But honestly, I'm probably not going to go out of the way for armor. I never do. Well, almost never. We have 76 days left till DLC. It's going to be a long wait. Honestly, though, once it's here, it'll be like we never waited. Cut the Elden Pizza or die trying? What do you think an Elden Pizza would consist of? I guess there's a bunch of wildlife. There'd be plenty of meat. Think they uh, grow any vegetables out here in the lands between? I think they could. I think there's definitely land to do it. I don't know if they do, though. Like, do you, I wonder if anyone here even eats. It's like they can't die. So if you can't die, what's the point of eating? Like, the nobles and the lords probably eat just because they can, but everyone else, who knows? Like, you think this, these duelists up here are just, like, taking a break from patrolling and going to have a snack? An off-screen snack? Yeah, what do they eat? Chill, man. Oh, hey, look. Extra talisman slot. Apparently, I never grabbed the axe talisman. That would have been nice to have. Oh, well. Worst guardians in history. They don't even know how to guard. They just, you know, they let the problem get by them, and then they turn around and like, oh, whoops. Come on, guys. Do better. No point in doing this, really, because you can't bleed him. I feel like the only point of this, uh... The Sash of Warriors really is to bleed. And if you can't bleed, it's kind of not worth it. The damage is not that good.
It's fun though. Even though it does like baby damage. Ah, no stem. Shame you can't buff it? That would be cool. It would be, like, probably broken if you could, honestly. Stagger. Thank you. He tried to jump over me. <laughs> I jumped and then he jumped higher. Let's see. I'm just going to keep pumping Vigor. Like, my plan now for, like, new game for pretty much ever is... As long as I have the weapon requirements. Also, I think I need more decks. Uh, I'm just going to go Vigor to 60 for God's Can Do. That's, that's pretty much how it's going to work. And I don't think this run I really need it because I think this damage is fine. But, like, the Torch runs I've been doing... Uh, I guess pretty much those. Like, I feel like I really needed 60, because God's Can Do is just such a long fight with bad damage, and it sucks. This weapon's so big, I can barely see the assassin behind it. Skip. Damn. Bad idea. Horrible idea. I mean, I guess it built a bleed. I hate the range and the rolling R2. It's like very bad. I don't know. The running R2 is not great either, to be honest. You kind of like pull back your weapon. That's probably the last bleed I'm getting. Hundred twenty k. So yeah, you, in, in new game plus, you get like three times that from Morgoth. It's crazy. You get so many runes. Oh, I forgot the six. I just realized. I can go grab that real quick. Or I could just get the bell bearing. Might be easier to do that. I gotta get it anyway. So seventeen strength. Actually, do dex to eighteen. Then I can. Pretty much do not use the source seal. Alright, Avenue Balcony. Am I one handing again? Why am I one handing? No, no, okay, never mind. I wasn't one handing. It looked like I was. I am indeed two handing. I feel like this thing has pretty much the same moveset as like every other colossal weapon, which is kind of disappointing. 
like you have the colossus swords which i under i can understand those sharing because like what you know swords are swords are swords right but there's like so many different variants of colossal weapons and i feel like they're all just kind of the same even though they look so different like i think all of them have like this running r1 maybe not all of them but a lot of them a lot of this running r2 bloodborne called they want the pizza cutter back I don't think they want this one. The one in, in Bloodborne is insane. Although I don't think it has bleed. But to be honest, I'm not sure if it does. Which one you has a bow? Oh, that guy. I didn't even notice that guy there. I was running through here the other day. Might have been on the torch run. I don't know if it was the torch run or the inseparable sword run. One of them. And I got shot. I got hit with an arrow, but I didn't know who from. Now I know. So I need the seven in the Forbidden Lands, the eight in the Mountaintops. I gotta go get the Bell Bearing for the sixes. I gotta go, I gotta remember to go to EG to get ones and twos. I think I have maybe like some of those. I have one three. Okay, never mind. Anyone know what the uh, armor Inquisitor Giza wears by any chance? I feel like probably not just because it's not a common question. Basically deciding if I want a power stance or not. If I get the armor, I'm not gonna power stance. If I don't, then I will. But it really depends on how far out of the way it is, too. Part or all of it, where the omen patrols near the underground roadside grace. Which omen? The one, like, near the grace? Right near the grace? I can take a peek down there. I'm probably not going to do it till after Malakat, though. The ones in the path right outside the grace's chamber, okay. So I have a rough idea of them where it is. What's the set called? Don't need to go to the snowfield. I don't need this grace. I mean, I could still power stance. There's no reason I couldn't. I gotta change my new game plus pathing, though. I gotta think about what order I want to do things in, because I need to get to Volcano Manor right away. And I use the term right away loosely. We would kill a bunch of stuff on the way there. But I think I know what I would do. Yo, game, what are you doing? No lagging. How heavy are we right now? 40 out of 67. Okay. I mean, if I get another one of these, how much does this weigh? 19? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need more endurance. But I won't have a second one for a while, so I'm not too worried about that. It's time to cut. Oh, what the hell? Blood-soaked set, the helm and manchettes are guarded by omens. The official's attire is found by turning back. Uh, the elevator leading from the Divine Tower to the Forbidden Lands is room not so far. Okay, that I could go get. That's pretty easy. Because I know where that is. Helm and manchettes are guarded by omens. Is there... there no leg piece? No greaves? Okay. I can work with that. So I think we'll go get the... the stuff, not in the sewers, the other one. The... Uh, of the attire. We can go get that once I get to a grace somewhere. And then I'll get the other stuff after Malekith. It's just easier to go to the sewers after Malekith. Where's the church? Church, church, church. Right there. I see it. It's hard because like sometimes you just there's so many trees that have a similar shape can be very difficult to see the church. Blade of Calling, yeah. I know the Blade of Calling's there. I didn't know there was an armor set there, though. Oh, you can buff the Blade of Calling? I didn't know that. Basically, asked Tom. They kind of, like, merge Twinkling Titanite and Titanite scale weapons. So there's only smithing stones or somber smithing stones. Grab that, and then we're going to go back here. I didn't actually get off the torrent there. It kicked me off. So there's your room. Well, that was easy.
I don't know. Do we do one or two? I kind of want to do two just for the route to change. I think that'd be fun. I can at least pick it up. We're going to be very squishy on this run, though, which is kind of the opposite of what I wanted, but nah, whatever. Ooh, this actually could be pretty good for Fire Giant. Should be. At least phase one. Maybe not phase two. All right, so we'll get up to Fire Giant. I got to go buy a Somber 6, upgrade this to plus 8, and then we'll do Fire Giant. Then we'll get the 9 in Fair Missoula. Do God's Can Duo and get plus 10 after that. And then I need to remember an extra Somber Ancient, whatever it's called. Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. That's what it's called. Jump up. Thank you. These birds are insane. Let's see if they chase me all the way to the grays. Oh, no, they're not. Sometimes they do. Other times not. I got, like, dive-bombed by two of them dropping down that cliff. And I didn't get a grace in the mountaintops at all, so I had to go, like, all the way back from... I think Lindell. Or something. I think, I think that's where I had to come from. Or maybe it was rolled. Might have been rolled. All right, what are we doing? We're upgrading. I think that was a Dark Moon Great Sword run. Can't remember, though. How much is a Somber 6, you think? Do I have enough? I probably don't have enough to buy it and upgrade, though. It's fine. I got plenty of uh, stuff here. Do this. Okay. Back here. Red table as a hub area is quite impressive. Yeah, I don't mind it. I do miss the days of a connected hub, though. Like a hub that's actually connected to the world. Which really only happened in two games. Well, Sekiro kind of, I guess. I don't know. What's the hub in Sekiro? Because the characters move around so much that, like, I don't even know. You think it's, like, the... where the sculptor is at first, but then, like, everyone just kind of moves to Ash in a castle. One hand charge, really? Try it out. Oh, yeah, look at that. I see, I see. Because the wheel spins. Oh, that's going to hurt. Nope, get out. Oh, we're fine. Okay, it's all good. Kind of reminds me of Royal Yake Song. Yeah, it pretty much is. It's just like a lesser version, I'd say. Royal Yake Song is just so strong. Time to run. I wish I had the Axe Talisman. Yeah, I think if you two-hand it... Oh, the wheel does spin, actually. Never mind. Only on R2s, though. It doesn't spin on R1s. How did I not notice that until now? It's 
Damn it. Yeah, there's no way I can get a, an attack in there before he comes down with the second part of that. You can with lighter weapons, or like, not lighter weapons, but like, faster weapons. Can't do with this though, it's too slow. Yeah, the one-handed R2 actually is, like, better than the two-handed R2, oddly. But just because of the extra attacks from the spin. It spins on the two-handed R2, it just doesn't hit for some reason, though. Like, you hit get the one hit. Oh, that was a bleed. That doesn't count. Oh, that's not great. I'm completely stuck. I'm dead. I'm alive. Oh, come on. Yeah, see, you don't get the extra hits. You just get like one big hit. But the one-handed R2 does more damage. It's interesting. I wonder if the power stance attacks, like, behave any differently with the wheel. I'm guessing probably not, but you never know. All right, uh, I'm gonna level up Vigor here. Vigor forever. What, do I have 40 right now? With the Sorosilia. Okay, almost 50. That'll be plenty, hopefully. Yes. I am ready. Bam. Fair Missoula. I wonder if we'll get like another sky area in the DLC. Or underground or something. Like I think this DLC is basically going to be the size of another Souls game. So it's going to be big. Although I think everyone knows it's going to be big. It's just like to what degree, you know? Especially for $40. I honestly think the $40 price tag is more of a reflection of the increase in price of games. Just because games have gone to $70 now. Like, if this came out, if the DLC came out two years ago, it probably would have been like $30. This guy's nuts. Please don't kill me. Somber 9. And then I have to remember the bell bearing for the other Somber 9. Do Banished Knights have their own sword? I know it's random, but I was just thinking about it. Because I did the Banished Knight Halberd. I think for the sword run, I'd want to do like a combination of power stancing and using a shield. Because you have both versions of that. Round table. Oh, we could just, we could go to EG. I keep forgetting. It'd be faster. Consider the highest attack rating sword, really? Hmm. Is it a great sword or a straight sword? Okay. Stop. Stop. Great sword? Okay. Just curious. Makes more sense. They're big guys. They need big swords. Good thing I checked this, huh? Man. It's kind of annoying. Good damage. Oh, hello. I know he's right there. What a whiff. Go to phase two. It was a horrible spot to heal. Don't know why I did that. I think I'm in trouble. I think I got stunned. I don't think I can do anything there. Tried rolling, but nothing happened.
Oh, come on, Noble, please. No, man. That's so good. It's such a good start. I have 50 Vigor, by the way. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Hey, I'd rather die early, at least. I don't mind this. I'm not too bummed about it, because, like, the damage on this is pretty good. The only time I really get upset with this fight is if my damage sucks and I die, like, halfway in or past that. Vanish Knight's Swords have this cool-looking two-handed light attack shared with the Knight's Great Swords and with the Inseparable Sword. I know the Inseparable Sword one. Oh my god, I'm dead again. Black Flame killed me, I think? This is not going well. I'm being way too careless. I think the Black Flame killed me, because I, I don't think they hit me at the end there. Unless I missed something. We're just being too aggressive. Dude, come on! Like, I just can't win! I get a stagger immediately stabbed by the noble. Yeah, I can't punish that. The noble's literally on top of him. Dude, why is there a lingering hitbox on that? Can you guys separate at all? be nice. I, brother, I can't even move. It's not fair. God, it's just so slow. That's the other thing, too. I can't get away with punishes that I can get away with on other weapons because this thing's just so slow. Not what I meant to do. Nice dead. Definitely a bit scuffed, but that's all right. You know, I don't really need to worry about health anymore. Can we get through Malaketh before ads in nine minutes? We're going to find out. Honestly, I think it'll take longer to run to Malaketh than it will to fight him. I still think it's funny whenever, like, a character holds a colossal weapon in one hand. Like, this thing is heavy. And she's just gripping it. One hand. Swinging it around, no problem. And the ancient somber... Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Up here. And then the bell bearing for the, the other nine. So if I want a power stance, I can just get a plus ten right away. We'll have two plus tens. 
It's like Team Deus, strength of 10 is normal human, 20 is godlike, anything higher is just obscene. So you can just throw it around like it's a joke. Is that how D&D works? I honestly have no idea. Normal average human's 10 at all stats. Can you mix around your stats? Or like, do you have to start with 10 and everything? Bail bearing. You get to roll your stats or use a point buying system. That's the baseline for what normal, what's like normal above 10 and you get bonuses. Below 10, you get negatives. Okay. Level. Actually, we'll upgrade. Actually, yeah, we'll upgrade. We can do that. And we have to do a lot once we get back to the Ashen Capital. I gotta go get the headpiece and the, the rest of this armor, I guess. And then I gotta go get the other ancient, somber ancient dragon smithing stone. I can never remember the name of it. So you can have what they call dumb stats, where you roll badly and get like an 8 or something you put in a stat you don't use, so that every time you do roll, you take a minus 1 to it. Hmm. Interesting. Just started learning to play D&D, &D, did you? I know, like... A little bit more from Baldur's Gate 3, but like, I still really don't know that much. And I know like Baldur's Gate 3 is a modified version of D&D. So it's not exactly the same, but it's better than knowing nothing, I guess. Whoops. Bi-weekly games tomorrow? That's cool. Stop. I got stuck on the... his hand. Okay, that's good. I didn't get, uh... I didn't kill him there. If you repost him into phase two, like, you get stuck wherever you reposted him instead of getting teleported to where I just ended up. And it's annoying because you can't get that first hit. Unless you happen to be, like, pretty close already. Two staggers already, my goodness. I, dude, I, <laughs> I didn't, he's directly above me. I couldn't tell what he was doing. Damn it. Is this a red where you might use the poise break bubble tier once you get it? I could. I can't remember where you get it though. I'm assuming off of one of the urge tree avatars. Alright, let's see if we can get the armor real quick. Get the armor and the uh ancient somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Maybe do the somber ancient dragon smithing stone first. I don't know, it makes more sense here. Probably that, and then we can maybe backtrack to the sewers or something. Future Dev near the second minor earth tree in Kaelid. Okay, it's one of the Kaelid ones. Can work with that. Strength. I really don't have a lot of strength on this thing. On this build. Although I am two handing, and that gives me more strength, so. Won't be for long for power stancing, though. Yeah, I wonder how much the L2 builds up posture damage. I don't know if it's a ton. I feel like because it hits so much, it probably isn't that much. But I could be wrong. I mean, is there a way back to the other side if I get this thing? Or do I have to warp away? I don't remember where the lever is for the door, but I don't think you can open the door anyway. Might be down further, down here somewhere. Yeah, you can't even... It does not work. What's this? Golden Rune 9. Could be useful. Can I go through there? I can't even tell. Hey, don't look at me. 
Turn around. Oh, all right. Okay, so now, where the heck is this armor? Any items? Hmm? There it is. Inquisitor Giza. No, oh, where's the... here. Let's just do Gideon real quick. I was gonna take a break, but... We can just do this. And if I die, then I'll be sad. Yeah, what do you think happened to Giza where... They have to wear the blood-soaked... whatever they're called. The mask and the manchettes. And they're running around with this thing. Might be the most unhinged character in the game, aside from maybe Dung Eater. Just tomato sauce? Ah. It's movie blood. I don't use tomato sauce. In Imagine if they actually use tomato sauce in the uh, movies. Ah, I knew you'd come to stand before the Elden Ring to become Elden Lord. I commend your spirit for the last. Now, oh, damn it. Shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes that we come to. Okay, you can stop spamming, spamming rings any day. Phalanx. Dude, Phalanx kills this. I can't do it if he's got Phalanx going. That's not good. If that thing breaks... ...and kills me, I'm gonna be so sad. The problem is, too, like... Maybe I can do a jump bar two here and kill him. No, nope. one more hit should do it, though. There we go. Yeah, they, the, the ring that's around him that breaks when he takes too much damage, that thing is just, like, so devastating. That would pretty much one-shot me. I am no man. This is a lady. When you have the little bubble around you when you were outside combat, like you have damage mitigation? Uh, Ritual Shield Talisman. At full health, I have damage mitigation. Is it true this weapon works best one-handed? That's what I hear, and I tried it a little bit on Fire Giant, and it actually did seem like that is true. We'll do a lot of one-handing when I'm power stanting. Alright, I'm gonna go... Strength. 